Alright, so let's have an example for our right, Newton Gregory method. So let us discuss this time, both uh, forward and uh, backward. So for example, we have this uh, set of data, and we are required to determine the value of f of 0 0.5 and f of 2.7. Uh, so one condition that we can use the method is that we have equal intervals for the values of uh, x. As you can see, equal interval, 0, 1, uh, 2, 1, 3, 2, and uh, 4, 1. So a common difference of uh, 1. So if you are to use a forward method, we are using the symbol delta. But if we are to use the backward method, we are using the symbol lambda. And let us perform, let us determine the difference. So this is, right, for these two, uh, two values, for the equivalent of delta and lambda, 11 minus 2 is uh, 9. We have 32 minus 11 is uh, 21. Then we have, uh, we have 71 minus 32. That is 71 minus 32 is equal to, oh, this is uh, 39. Then we have 134 minus, 134 less 71 is, uh, this is 63. Uh, and then next, for the next column, we have 21 minus 9 is, 21 minus 9 is uh, 12. Then we have 39 minus 21 is 39 minus 21, this is uh, 18. Then 63 minus 39 is 63 minus 39 is equal to oh, this is uh, 20 uh, 24. And then for the next uh, column, 18 minus 12 we have 6. 24 minus 18 is uh, the same as uh, 6. Then for the last column, we may ignore this one since 6 minus 6 is uh, 0. Okay, then for example, we are now to determine the equivalent of these two uh, required f of 0 0.5. Let us observe what is our mean value that is at x is equal to uh, 2. And f of 0 0.5 is before our uh, middle term. So therefore, uh, we may use forward. Uh, you, we may use the forward Newton Gregory uh, method. And by the way, what is that equation? We have y, or the formula, we have m of x plus, this is r delta plus the r multiplied by r minus 1. This is divided by 2 factorial delta squared plus r divided by r minus 1. Multiplied by r minus 2, this is divided by 3 factorial multiplied by delta cubed. So we may stop on this things by the last differences. I see you know. So by the way, what is the value of R? Uh, we may use uh, we may use the equation that is the x minus x of zero divided by uh, divided by the step or the step size. So by the way, we have a uh, uniform interval h is equal to a uh, one. So we are looking for the equivalent of the function at x is equal to zero point uh, five. What is our x of zero? This value is uh, right, the preceding value before 0 0.5. So what is the value before 0 0.5? So our x is 0 0.5. That value is a 0. So which means we are to use these terms. Uh, we, are to, uh, follow, we are to follow uh, these terms or this pattern. So we are to use uh, x sub 0 is equal to x sub 0 is equal to a 0. So let's have the equivalent uh, of R. R is equal to is the value of x, that is 0 0.5, minus x of 0, the value before 0 0.5 is 0, divided by the step size is 1. If you have the value of R is now equal to 0 0.5, I'm very using 0 0.5. So let us now determine the equivalent of f of 0 0.5, or that is equal to y. What is f of x? Okay, we are to use these terms or these values. We have f of x is 2. Okay, plus, what is the value of r? We are using 0 0.5. What is the value of delta? Delta is, or this is a 9. Plus, okay, we have r that is 0 0.5 minus, uh, multiplied by r, 0 0.5 minus 1. This is divided by 2 factorial. We have delta squared, this is, and we have 12. Then plus, 
Okay, that is R. We have 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5 minus 1. Multiplied by 0 0.5 minus 2. This is divided by 3 factorial. Multiplied by delta cube. Delta cube is, you have, that is a 6. So we will have the equivalent of f of 0 0.5. So that's the same as 2 plus 0.5 times 9 plus uh, 0.5 multiplied by 0.5 minus 1, that is over 2. So 2 factorial is the same as 2 multiplied by uh, 12. So this is the same as 2. So 12 over 3 is by 6. And then plus I 0.5 multiplied by 0.5 minus 1 multiplied by 0.5 minus 2 that is multiplied by a 6 divided by 3 factorial by the way 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 this is the same as 6 we may cancel this out and let's see what do and we have the value of f of 0 0.5 is now 5.375 so we use the forward method or forward method we call it method to determine of f of 0.5. So let's try uh, the equivalent of 2 point f of 2.7. Okay, next, so let us determine the equivalent of f of 2 point uh, 7. But as we have seen, we have to observe our mean value, that is a 2. 2.7 is after our middle value, that is close to a 3. So 2.7 is somewhere here, 2.7. So we are to use the backward. So for the backward, what is the backward for uh, Newton Gregory formula? That is uh, y is equal to uh, we have f of x plus r. So we are using this time the nebula. Okay, plus uh, r multiplied by r plus one divided by two factorial nebula squared. So compared to forward, instead of Minus, we are to add. And nebula squared plus this is r multiplied by r plus 1 multiplied by r plus 2 divided by the 3 factorial multiplied by, by the nebula cube. So this is our formula for the uh, new, backward Newton uh, Gregory method. So let us first determine our r. So we have r this time is x minus x sub n divided by uh, h. So still, okay, our step size or the interval value is uh, 1. So we are used, uh, we are to determine the equivalent of the function at x is equal to 2.7. What will be our x of n? x of n is the nearest succeeding value. So, x of n is the nearest succeeding value to uh, x. So, 2.7, what is the nearest value succeeding, which means after 2.7, that is uh, 3. So, therefore, our x of n will be equal to uh, 3. So, we have the equivalent of r this time is 2.7 minus 3 divided by 1. The value of r, 2.7 minus 3 is, uh, is negative 0 0.3. So let's set the equivalent of f of 2.7, when it is equal to y, equal to what is f of x. Uh, by the way, since we are using x of n equal to 3, we are to trace, uh, we are to trace the values to be used from 3, then going up this time. So we have to do this uh, follow, okay, starting from 3, then the equivalent of f of x, then we have to follow the up the arrow upward to the right. So we have to use this values 71, 39, 18, and uh, 6. So we have what is the equivalent of f of x at 3? That is 71 plus r. What is our r? That is negative 0 0.3. I multiplied by nebula. What is our first nebula? This is uh, 39 plus r. That is negative 0 0.3 multiplied by negative. Uh, this is negative 0 0.3 plus 1. Uh, this is divided by 2 factorial. Multiplied by nebula squared. 
the next in our next value is 18 like then plus okay we are on the third term nebula or r what is the value of r this is negative 0 0.3 multiplied by negative 0 0.3 plus 1 multiplied by negative 0 0.3 plus 2 this is divided by 3 factorial then for the last term this is nebula cube this is 6 so let's have the equivalent of f of 2.7 so we have that as 71 plus the value of r is negative 0.3 times 39 then plus we have negative 0 0.3 multiplied by negative 0.3 plus 1 so that's the difference between the backward and forward so on the backward we are to add on the forward we are to subtract this is divided by 2 factorial I multiplied by 18 and then plus we have negative 0 0.3 multiplied by negative 0 0.3 plus 1 multiplied by negative 0 0.3 plus 2 this is all over 3 factorial i times uh, 6 so we have the equivalent of f of 2.7 is yes, now equal to all right this is 57 This is uh, 57 point zero fifty. Okay. This is the equivalent of f of uh, to y seven using the my backward Newton Gregory method. Right, for example, we are required to determine the equation of the polynomial. Uh, that represents this I uh, uh, set up uh, data. So I'll be just using the forward. I uh, have forward Newton Gregory method. I'll be using the first uh, set of data. Uh, this one. Okay. Then I uh, will have a function on uh, y is equal to f of x. Uh, this is plus r uh, delta plus r times r minus 1 this is divided by 2 factorial delta plus we have r times r minus 1 divided by r minus 2 divided by 3 factorial we have delta. Okay, so we have to determine the value of uh, x. Let's go to x minus x sub 0 divided by our step size of h. So this is, again we have h equal to 1. And then let's say that our first step will, our first uh, x is uh, 0. I'm sorry, this is not x, because this is r. So therefore, what is the equivalent of r? This is x minus x sub 0. The first value of x is 0 divided by 1. Therefore, we can use the value of r as simply equal to x. Then we I substitute. So we have the equivalent of the equation of the function y f of x is 2 plus r is x. Delta, I, delta is 9 plus x times x minus 1. This is divided by 2 factorial. Supposedly, this is delta squared. Delta squared, we have 12. Then plus, we have x times x minus 1 divided by x minus 2. This is divided by 3 factorial divided by delta cube. That is, we have a 6. Then we simplify. So this is now y is equal to 2 plus 9x. 2 factorial is the same as 2. So this is the same as 6. 3 factorial is the same as 6. We may cancel this uh, 2. So we have 6x times x minus 1, that is the same as plus 6x squared. Right, 6x times x, 6x squared. 6x times negative 1 is negative 6 of x. Then we have, that is plus x times x minus 1, divided by x minus uh, 2. Then we further uh, simplify, this is now y is equal to 2 plus 9x plus 6x squared minus 6x then plus we have x okay we are just two first now right? uh, simplify this two this is x squared minus 3x plus uh, 2 then we distribute this x we have y is equal to 2 plus 9x plus 6x squared minus 6x plus this is x cubed 
minus uh, the 3x squared plus 2x. And then let's have our equation. I will simplify. And so this is the equivalent of the function y is uh, f of x. Okay. Some references in the f of x is the same as y. Equal to, well, let's have the x cubed first, then plus, or right, the second degree we have 6x squared minus 3x squared. So 6x squared minus 3x squared, that is plus 3x squared. Then we have 9x minus 6x is 3x plus 2x. 3x plus 2x, that is the same as right, plus 5x. Then the remaining constant, that is plus R2. So this is the equation of the polynomial that represents our uh, given set of data earlier. So let us check what is the equivalent of f of 0 point? f of 0 0.5. That is 0 0.5 raised to 3 plus 3 times 0 0.5 squared plus 5 times 0 0.5 then plus 2. Alright, that is the same as 0.5 raised to 3. It was 3 times 0.5 squared plus 5 by 0.5 plus 2. So we have the equivalent of f of 0 0.5 is equal to 5.375. Are you seeing the equation? Then uh, we have the f of 2.7, this is equal to 2.7 cube plus uh, 3 times 2.7 squared plus 5 divided by 2.7 then plus 5 plus 2 so let's have the equivalent of f of 2.7 that is 2.7 cube plus 3 times 2.7 squared plus 5 by 2.7 plus 2 so you have the value this is equal to 57.053 I just hope you have our answers.